Still south I went, and west and south again, through Wicklow from the morning till the night, and far from cities and the sights of men, lived with the sunshine and the moon's delight. I knew the stars, the flowers, the birds, the gray and wintry sides of many glens, and did but half remember human words in converse with the mountains, moors, and fens. When you are old and gray and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once and of their shadows deep. How many loved your moments of glad grace and loved your beauty with love false or true, but one man loved the pilgrim soul in you and loved the sorrows of your changing face. And bending down beside the glowing bars, murmur a little sadly how love fled and paced upon the mountains overhead and hid his face amid a crowd of stars. I saw her pass where foam boughs shivered on the sunny sea. Then came the swallow crowding up the dawn, and cuckoo echoes filled the dewy south. I left my love upon the hill alone, my last kiss burning on her lovely mouth. But I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. The truth is rarely pure and never simple. Modern life would be very tedious if it were either, and modern literature a complete impossibility. All of old, nothing else ever, ever tried, ever failed, no matter, try again, fail again, feel better. I will arise and go now, for always night and day I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. While I stand on the roadway, or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. Imagine. 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 Imagine Ireland.